It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks. And it's all up next. Renamed in late 2020, there's a look at Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Well, the Dolphins head out, led by the NFL's leading passer in 2023. Now in his fifth season, Tua Tungabailoa. And he's coming off a great season where he put up career highs in yards and touchdowns, while also leading one of the most prolific scoring offenses in the NFL. The number one thing he did last season, though, staying healthy. When he's on the field, Miami can roll. In motion, Hill. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. And they'll come up second and seven. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to have the first down and then some. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 71 yards. And the Dolphins need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Seahawks set to go on offense here, and it is the pro bowler Geno Smith at quarterback, Charles, in his 12th NFL season. And Smith continues to show that his career resurgence hasn't been some fluke. He's brought a level of maturity, stability, and good play that allows him to compete with any team on any given week. The real question is whether or not he can become a championship-caliber quarterback. Only time will tell, but for now, he's done enough to give this franchise reason to believe 
they can certainly get the job done. First carry here for Ken Walker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pickup there in the drive starting very nicely. First down. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll try the air now with Smith. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all he needed. First down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Play action. It's Smith. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Option play, and they'll give to Walker. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. As they've got it as we resume action. From the gut on third down, Smith. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered took the ball themselves moved it downfield and put it through the post for three points game on Myers now converted on the field goal try now he's on to kick it away And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. 
of the Dolphins offense and Tyreek Hill set to take over once more and seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert fighting him off. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. There are so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. Two are going to throw. Short throw to Smith, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And now Mostert is going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They're... Mike McDaniel, he's going to ask him to take a closer look at this call, and out comes the challenge flag. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So winds up a very smart decision to throw the flag. They reset the spot, and now that's a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. In motion, Hill. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Now Tua. Tyreek Hill's got another one. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the 5 to the 4. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Second and goal from inside the five. Tua sets up to pass it. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Braxton Berrios from four yards out. And the Dolphins are able to stretch out their lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown.
Sanders on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They trail now 14-3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Now Gino going for Metcalf on the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for Seattle, 48 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. This one goes underneath to Walker. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and ten. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Noah Fant, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The visitors' offense and their wideout getting set to go once more. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half.
Second and a couple. From the gun, it's Tua. He'll dump this off to A-Chan. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now they need two. Here's third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Tua. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's second and ten. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up. Not that time. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Motion man is Barrios. Off of play action. Tug of Iloa. To the sideline and incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing now is Geno. Throw out wide to Walker. Missed. Missed. This will not go down. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, 
He had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Geno now to throw. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Again, Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Walker now on first and 10. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now Smith. Touchdown, Seahawks! Jackson Smith and Jigba, 27 yards. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was capped off by a Jackson Smith and Jigba touchdown catch. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Dolphins' offense and Tua Tunga Vailoa headed back out onto the field. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. In motion, the tight end. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Looking to pass to him. Throw to the right, taken in by Barrios. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. From the 38 now, here's second and four. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. Now, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still second down. Following the delay, here's second and nine. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. That one complete to Hill. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 31-yard line. Two to Tyreek for the Miami first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. On play action. Here's Tua. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Seahawks again now ready to take over on offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Setting up the screen here, this is Walker. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Smith to throw. Repeat of the last play, finding Walker. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Another try, second and ten now. Smith's going to throw it. Complete to Chanel. Short game, short game, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. A big play looming on third down. Smith. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And that's the downside of taking these big shots because they're definitely lower percentage plays. And now you look up and it's fourth down. So not only do you have to worry about getting big yardage, you also need to just keep the game alive. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Smith. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Now Smith. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead. They found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at their 38. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth.
So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. To throw is Tua. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Seattle, so long, everybody.